today calls for airdrops. Uh, I can never do this with my eyes open. So, uh, today I have got a, um, oh, sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> Talk. Um, I have got a birthday party to go to so I'm just going to do my makeup and just talk about some things and just make it real casual. This lint is driving me crazy. So right now I am waiting for a dryer to be delivered because my dryer decided to destroy itself this week and I have got about seven piles of laundry just waiting to be dried because it is raining and everything that you hang out just gets wet. And I need clothes. I actually contemplated buying new clothes just so that I had an excuse to buy new clothes. <laughs> but I didn't. I bought a new dryer instead and it's coming today and if I get interrupted that is why. But today we're just going to do my makeup ready for my friend's 31st birthday and I just wanted to have a chat while I did that. So foundation wise, I don't know what to use because Normally, you guys know, because I've talked about it a lot, I love, oh it's nearly empty, um, the Garnier BB Cream. But I did buy a couple of new things. I bought the It CC Cream, um, and I bought a couple of other things, which I'm sure you've already seen in my whole video recently. Um, but I'm also trying the Fenty Foundation. They gave me a little sample, and I did buy the full size, but in case the shade was wrong, they were like, use a sample first and then come back and buy... Um, switch the unopened foundation for a better color. I think it might be a bit too pale for me, which is just, that just never happens. <laughs> but I'm gonna put it on and you guys can tell me what you think and we'll go from there. I can't get the sample open. <laughs> oh my God, am I just this week? So this is the Fenty, um, this is this one. Fenty by Rihanna. And it's the Pro Filter Foundation. Uh, my friend wears it a lot and it looks lovely on her, but I'm just not completely sold on it on me yet. But I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to use a brush today. Yeah, I'll use this one. This is BH Cosmetics 113 brush. And we're going to pop on the foundation. See how, like, that's really light. So maybe I should mix it with something. Maybe I'll mix it, like I'll show you what my Garnier one looks like. That's what the Garnier one looks like, those little droplets of darker colour. So I'm just going to mix the two. Just a couple of droplets. Like look, it's really white. I think I'm going to have to get a different shade. I mean, I am white. But I've heard that it does oxidise, so... And I wore it on Friday to work, and no one said anything, but probably just too polite. Although there's quite a few makeup fans in my team, so they probably would have said something. What do you think? I don't know, it's actually not too bad now that I'm looking at it in the lens. I feel like in person it looks really white. Do, 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 do. I reckon, what's the bet that my dry delivery man comes when I've got one eyebrow on. Hmm. Look, she a white girl. She's very white. But how is it? Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your opinions. All right. Next, I'm going to go in with Bobbi Brown's Corrector and this is in the shade Light Bisque. This is just what I put on under my under eyes just to counteract some of that dark circle situation happening. Does anyone like just get over brushes and they just start using their fingers? Cause that's me. I've been having like a problem with dry skin lately. I've got a lot of dry skin around my eyeballs. I'm not into it. The next thing I'm gonna use, can I just have a vent for a second? So <laughs> I bought the Tarte Shape Tape and if you follow the beauty community on YouTube, you know that this is a cult product loved by many, many people, used by many people. I've seen it in countless videos. It always looks beautiful. Every time I use it, I don't know whether I've got a dud. It just separates. It's thin. It doesn't cover anything. It's, it's thin, but also goes everywhere. 
and it just does nothing and I don't understand why this is so popular. So let me know if I've got a dud or how do you guys feel about the Tarte Shape Tape because I am not impressed and I was so excited to get it. But I am going with a original cult classic today and that is the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer because this has never let me down. So I just, yeah, I don't know what's happened with Shape Tape, whether it's just the way I'm applying it. The only thing I haven't done yet is I haven't tried to apply it with a sponge. And I know, I see a lot of people doing it with a beauty blender and I obviously like to use brushes. So I don't know whether that's what's going wrong <laughs> or I did get a dud or is it just an overhyped beauty product that people have been paid to say that they love it and they actually don't love it. But then like in the videos, like you see people use it and it looks fine. And I just, I'm very angry. <laughs> Wait, is that my dry guy? No. All right, I'm going to then use the MAC NW20 Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm just going to spot conceal a few of my spots, obviously. Because apparently my skin is having a moment. So I spot conceal with um. The Real Techniques brush. I don't really know what brush this is. I think it's the eyeliner brush, but that's just stupid because it's a really weird shape for an eyeliner brush. Actually, no, this isn't. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the lip brush. So, <laughs> um, I've never used it for my lips. I always use it for my concealer. And like, look at this. I have a little pimple on my neck. Like, who gets pimples on their necks? Okay, I'm sure lots of people get pimples on their necks. My skin is just not happy with me today. I'm also really itchy. The last thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna get a little bit of the Benefits Pore Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup. And I'm gonna use a little bit of that on my nose. Just a tiny bit. Like, look at it dripping. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm just going to Stipple that on just with the sponge that it comes with. I just think this helps because I get quite large pores on my nose. I think it really helps to conceal them. It's a good product. I um I bought that after Sean XO recommended it. She's fabulous. Uh, why is there something in my eye? Where are you? Oh, I see you. Get out. You don't belong here. Ugh. Oh, that's so frustrating. Mm. The next thing I want to use is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. I'm just going to get a fairly dense brush and I'm just going to get under my eyes because they get quite oily. I'm just going to pat it in. And I also use it on my eyelids just to the eyeshadow base. Beautiful. I'm going to get the same brush and I'm going to stipple the powder onto my nose as well. And I take it down my smile lines and up in the nostrils. Sorry guys, I'm in a really weird mood today. I don't know why. Probably lack of sleep. So I have a problem. My neighbors are lovely. They're a young family. They have young children. And I live in a townhouse complex. They're not attached to each other. Um, so they're probably like a couple of feet. There's a plane. Go away. They're probably about a couple of feet away, like from wall to wall, right? And there's a fence there and like an outdoor area, a staircase, etc. So you'd think I wouldn't be able to hear them, but every morning without fail at 5 30 in the morning, their children run up and down their hallway for hours. Just running, running with really loud footsteps. Like these kids are tiny, they can't weigh much, and yet they're really, really loud footsteps. And the kids are great, they never yell, they never scream, like they're fine, but they just run <laughs> and drive me crazy. So they wake me up and I'm a little bit over it and I don't know what I what to do. Like they never answer their door, so I can't really talk to them in person. And then I'm like, do I write a letter? But I don't want to be passive aggressive because writing can come off you know, differently to face to face. So I don't know what to do. Please tell somebody tell me what to do. Anyway, I'm going to use the Bourjois bronzer 
chocolate bronzer. Wait, have I powdered my whole face? I have not powdered my whole face. <gasps> Let me powder the rest of my face. All right, the rest of me is powdered. So, I'm gonna use the Bourjois bronzer. Look, there's color in my face. I usually bronze the sides of my nose as well. And then down the neck. I already feel pretty. And I'm going out at night, so you can really bronze up. I think I might contour a little bit as well. I'm just gonna get a little brush like this and I'm going to use my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I do not support Kat Von D anymore, but I have this whole palette and I need to use it all. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and contour my cheeks. This pimple's really annoying, I need to reconceal it. Hang on, that's better. Now I'm just using the lightest dark shade here and I'm going to contour my cheekbones around here. And then I'm going to go a little bit up here on the nose and then jawline. And then what I also do is I'll take two down the neck. And then I'm going to grab my, where is it? I'm just going to get a new little buffy brush, buffy brush, <laughs> fluffy brush. And then I'm going to use the middle one and I'm going like the lightest one. And I'm just going to go along there. And then this pimple right here is frustrating me. I'm going to, to conceal it again. And then I'm going to get my powder and just go boop, 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 boop. That is the official term. I'm so sorry if you can hear the rain. It's starting to really pelt down. Whoa! And I'm about to go out in it. <laughs> All right, about to do my eyebrows. Now, what is the bet that the dry man comes? I have been growing my eyebrows out and it's growing like beautifully along here, but this one still needs to grow some in here. And it's really frustrating me. All right, for the brows, I'm going to use the Flawless Brow Trio by BH Cosmetics. That rain is so loud! <laughs> With an angled brush from the body shop. And I'm just going to use the darkest shade to fill in my eyebrows. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Girl, you got a brow back. Woo -woo. My dog is so sad right now. It's okay, it's just a rain. Let's quickly get the other brow on before the dry man comes. <laughs> oh god. All right, we have brow action. So, I am now going to just brush through them with a little clean uh, spoolie brush. I just kind of like to do this mostly concentrating on the um, inner part of the brow, just because it makes it look a little more natural um, instead of like, you know, block color. Because no, eyebrows just don't do that. Phoebe, I know it. I know the rain is very sad. I know it's very scary, but you've got to be okay. And then I just lightly brush over the tail ends because I like more definition in the tail of my brow. And I'm going to do the same for this one. This one's being a little bee today. Does anyone ever have like eyebrows that just want to be a little bee? Brush it, brush it, brush it. Try the new eye panel. It's handy for your teeth. Now that the eyebrows are successfully brushed out, I'm going to get the Gimme Brow by Benefit in number five. And just brush them. So I do this after powder because I just find that it makes my eyebrows look a little like eyebrows again. Like, you know when you put powder on and it just flattens everything down and just like to fluff up my hairs at the front make them really fluffy I like a brushy a brushy a bushy brow thick bushy brows successful what do I want to do next actually what I want to do I want to use my midnight 16 color shadow palette from BH cosmetics I've been using this a ton just for my everyday makeup look I've really been loving the like bronzy shimmery shades so I like this one and I like this one and this one I just like all the shimmery colors do I want to try blue do I want to try this blue 
It is beautiful. Let's just start with the transition shade and see what happens. So I'm just gonna use the neutral in this palette just to do a little transition shade. So this one here, and I'm just gonna put it right here. <gasps> so much fallout with this palette though. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one of these ones. And because I put it eyelids, I actually do this right above my eyelid crease. Because you see when I like look like that, you can see it, but as soon as I look like that, you can't. You need to put it quite high for a hooded eyelid. Oh, what colors do I do? I don't know. Do I want to go blue? I guess the only problem with blue is I'd be quite um, limited in my clothing choice. I actually have no idea what I'm going to wear. I probably should have thought about that. Again, I have 10 piles of laundry sitting in my hallway, which is pretty much most of my wardrobe. <laughs> I need this dryer. Oh, what time is it? They have got 40 minutes to deliver this dryer within their window, so they better come. Maybe I'm just gonna go bronze and then maybe I'll do a specialized blue look at another time. So I'm just gonna do bronze. So I'm just going to choose, I think I'm just gonna choose this one. And I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and all over my eyelid. This is beautiful. A nice sort of like champagne-y color. The outer corner, I'm going to go the darker little bronze color right here. Again, I'm using all shimmers because I'm in a shimmery mood. Ooh, so much fallout. Dang. This is the only thing with this palette you do get so much fallout. So if you have some eyeshadow that you think you're going to get a lot of fallout with, put a little bit on your finger and then just press it on. I use my ring finger because I just it's just the comfortablest finger for me to use and it's also I feel like the easiest finger to manipulate eyeshadow with and then I just tap it on it sort of just helps to eliminate that fallout because with a brush like it doesn't stick to the brush like it would your skin because your skin absorbs things your brushes do not especially if they are synthetic so um, that is pretty good I'm pretty happy with that Apart from all the fallout I had earlier, which is just ruining this pimple coverage. Um, what I'm now going to do... Oh, I'm dropping things everywhere. Is I'm going to get a teeny tiny little brush. This is BH Cosmetics little brush. Um, I have no idea what it is. I think it's also another lip brush, but... <laughs> I'm going to get that same shade I just used, and I'm just going to put it under my eye. Until about where my iris ends. And I'm just sort of flicking it out to see how much wider that eye looks now. And then I'm just going to do the other one. And then, to start a bit more definition, I'm going to get the dark matte brown shade in this lower corner. And I'm just going to do a little bit here. And then a little bit on my finger. And I'm just going to accentuate the outer corner of that eye with a little bit of a darker shade. Now we are just going to get a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the outer corners with a clean brush just to smooth out any harsh edges. What I want to do is highlight next. Um, I'm going to go with the Erin Big Highlight. I'm just going to whack it right here. Ooh, pretty. Just to get that glow. And I'm also going to get it on my inner corners. Look at that. Pretty. Alrighty, now I'm going to go in with some mascara. So I'm just going to stick to what I know and then there's the Maybelline Full and Soft and I'm going to pop that on my lower lashes. Okay, I find that this mascara is one of the only mascaras to go on my lower lashes that actually doesn't um, end up transferring after a while, so I like that. Then, I'm just going to do the top lashes. Now, I'm going to do a double coat of mascara on my eyes today. So I'm going to use the NARS Climax Mascara, which I love. This is actually a cult product I can get on board with. And this is why, like look at the difference in these eyes. That is why I love this mascara so much. And then I'm actually going to go in with third mascara because I have problems. 
and I'm going to use the uh, Maybelline Illegal Links and I'm just going to lightly use that to wiggle my lashes up because I think this just helps separate them a little bit. I'm going to add just that little bit more length. See the difference? Alright, I'm just let that dry. I look a thousand times better right now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use some Max Fix Plus. Whew. Just to set everything in place before I do my lips. For my lips, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Hot Red. This is one of my favorites, as you can tell by how little he's getting. And then I'm going to use the Fenty Red uh, Liquid Lipstick over the top. So um, I like to line my lips first because I just find it's easier to then fill in the gaps later. All right, guys, that is the finished look. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Um, I would have loved to have put some lashes on, but unfortunately I am fresh out of lashes. Um, but this lipstick is one of my favorite reds and I'm really enjoying the Fenty range at the moment. I think I'm actually really liking this foundation. I think it's really, really nice. I think it just comes out looking super white and then it just sort of calms down later. So yeah, I think I really enjoy it. So that is the finished look. I'm going to go ahead and get, well, I'm probably not going to get dressed because my dryer man's still not here. But when my dryer man is here, <laughs> I will get dressed and then I'll go to my friend's birthday party. But this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed my video today. It was so nice having a chat to you guys again. I feel like I never come on here and just chat anymore. I'm being so lazy with my YouTube channel, but I'm going to try and make more of an effort to upload more regularly. And I'm sure I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.